The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. In the midst of year four, this one shot down the right field line. It's carrying well. It bangs up against the wall. Extra bases for Eric Ramirez. Stober rounds third. Stober scores standing, and the Bears strike first. An RBI double for Eric Ramirez. It's the bottom of the order doing work for LR. One turnaround. There goes the runner, pitches high for a ball. Throw down from the catcher, Nick Clarno, and it is an absolute rocket. My goodness. We mentioned it earlier, Nick Clarno might be the best defensive catcher in the region, and that was a perfect throw and out of Apopka, Florida. Pickoff attempt to second, and Laskowski applies the tag. Pickard is out. A wake-up call. And clearly Pickard was... Coker Cobras lost that game 4-2. to two. This one grounded to the right side. Riley dives, makes the play, and throws out the runner. Perino at second base. Matt Riley, what a... But Wingate had other ideas. This pitch is drilled high up in the air, but shallow center field. Dylan Lewis took a bad jump, rushes in, dives, and makes the catch. How about it? Bad jump and all. The first step was back, but Dylan Lewis shows off that. The pitch. There goes the runner, Brassington, and it doesn't matter because Lewis swings through and misses for strike three. So Lanham strikes out three in the inning despite giving up an infield single. We head to the fifth. Jacobson has a chance to be drafted in June. This one is waved at and missed for strike three. That's eight strikeouts. For Tanner Jacobson, he leads this team in strikeouts with seven. Payoff pitch is smoked into center. It drops in a base hit, and that will score Clarno. Lenore Ryan adds to its lead. Two nothing Bears on the RBI single from Anthony Perino, his 58th RBI of the season. Couple more runs, we'll see. 2-0. Is smoked through the left side. The Bears keep it going. Attili scores. And Wade Kuda, after striking out in his first two at bats, delivers the fourth single of the inning. And this pitch is crushed on a line into left center field. Kuda will score easily. And the Bears keep on going. The bats are booming for the Bears. Five nothing. It's a four run sixth inning after the RBI single from David Bell. Conference play finished as the three seed as this pitch is crushed. Leskowski to dead center field. Lewis is back, makes the catch shy of the warning track. That will score another run. Eric Ramirez crosses home plate Sacrifice fly, it is a six nothing LR lead here in the sixth. Arm for Chris Ramirez as Evans shoots this one into left center field. Rounds first, digging hard for second, throw to second, is not in time. Well it was in time, but the tag was not applied in time. The 2-2 two -two is a cold strike three. Josh Lanham with some energy heading off the mound. He's got seven shutout innings to his name and 10 strikeouts tonight. Look at this curve. And we had that he pinpointed when unpacking the regular season as this has popped up in foul ground, the first baseman over, and Carrot Evans makes the catch to retire the side. So a scoreless inning for Christian Brown. I'll have more on my count. The one, two, swing and a miss, strike three. That is 12, count them. 12 strikeouts for Josh Lanham, who is energized. Eight shutout innings. Number two. 
Speaking of homers, this is blasted down the right field line. It's carrying well, and that ball is gone. Good timing. Anthony Perino with a solo shot, and the Bears lead it eight to nothing. He must have heard me, right? Our first home run of the game, and it comes in the top of the ninth inning. Anthony Perino with his 11th home run of the season. He, ha he now has 59 RBIs. 1-1. One, one. Pulled on the ground. Ramirez rushes in. Throws to first. It's back picked beautifully by Perino, and that's the game. Lenore Ryan wins its first sack tournament game since 2008, and Josh Lanham tosses a gem.